So it's safe to say, I've got a bit of a job on this morning. All these lovely pheasants, and then what have we got here? One, two, three, four brace of partridge. I'm going to breast some of them out, take the thighs off some, and I'm thinking, fire up this beast, get some plucked for whole, whole roasting. Just want to show you these though, the difference. So these two hen birds, the one here is a Kansas. If you can see the cover in my hand over the breast, it's a smaller bird. And then next to it, a beautiful Scandi, Scandinavian, much bigger chest. <laughs> Jesus, what am I on about? Anyway, I'm gonna fire this beast up and start working my way through these beautiful creatures. What do you reckon? This beautiful, beautiful Scandi hen pheasant. Just look at the colour of the fat on that. Beautiful. Anyway, take the head off there. Just take the wings off at that bend. I suppose it would be the elbow. The old Spanish archer cut through there now I'm just gonna nip that off we're not gonna muck about so with the drumsticks then where it bends at the knee I like to put one in the top one underneath and just break it and turn it And pull you're not going to get all those sinews out but you'll get some so same underneath spin pull beautiful Used to mesmerise me as a kid. <laughs> Must get out more. Right then, where the breast ends, just put a cut in. I can feel that's quite fatty, lovely. And I'm just going to use two fingers. At the moment, I'm just loosening it off. Two fingers. We're going to go up, follow right along the breastbone right to the back right to the back and then just grab all the guts with the two fingers nice and simple and you can see that's come out relatively cleanly just separate the liver a little heart wonderful let's put that over there get me cloth just wipe where we've took out all the insides now I like to just cut this bit away there 
and we can go over in a bit just with our cloth and tidy it up but we want to have a look inside there as you can see it's quite clean that's a good gut so turn over grab the neck your knife upside down just with the point along and pull the neck away get your hands in that's what we're after a little windpipe it's amazing all the other pheasants I've done have been full of corn obviously this has been fed on corn you can tell by the color well there's a bit there is it some oh no it's a snail in it yeah have a look at that it's a snail bless it so make sure we get the crop out farm uh, butcher's friend the wet rag gives you some purchase just look at the fat there so yeah I'm just going to take a bit of that neck off only want a little bit to tie it nice warm rag just give it a wipe over I can't wait to try this who needs free-range chickens when you can have corn fed pheasants and my mate Coops really does know how to produce good birds I mean that's fit for Christmas that is but it ain't gonna get that far right put some strings around that length of string round those two drumsticks Pull it tight, tie a knot. And I like to just go over the breasts, under the wings, and just secure it, anchor it, not too tight, on that neck. Cut it off. And then fettle it. We can trim that neck down a little bit more now. But yeah. One beautiful pheasant ready for the oven. Just have a look at that. Okay, then we're going to roast this lovely pheasant. Just have a look at that. And a picture. So what we need to do then is we're going to start off by adding some colour in a pan. Now if you can, if you want to get one of these saucepans, it's revolutionised me game cooking purely because we can add colour and obviously put that straight in the oven. No plastic handle, it won't melt. Absolutely brilliant for cooking game birds or venison haunch. So what I'm going to do to my fezzy is just season inside and out and we'll get a spot of oil in there and add some colour. Now the trick is you don't want your pan screaming hot but just enough to add some colour because remember we're not cooking it we're just starting it off and getting that skin nice and brown so what you do is you sit your fezzy in and give it about three minutes on its back. Have a look at that. Oh, lovely. So, onto its side. You might need to pop it up. I want to give it three minutes on each side. Just check that. 
Lovely. So over on the other side for three minutes. Just check that. Oh yeah. So then the next, if we do the top for about three or four minutes. Now you may have to hold this for a few minutes or prop it up if you want to get colour all the way upon that breast. So just take your time. I'm going to be able to prop this bad boy. Beautiful. Look at that for a view. Man, don't that look angry. <laughs> what kind of a creature is that? You can hear that fat rendering out of that, that lovely corn fed fat. Let's see how we're doing. Bearing in mind, like I said, we ain't cooking this, we are just adding colour. It's going to go in the oven, but yeah, we're getting there. Give it a bit more. So I've got my oven preheated to 200 degrees C and we are going to put it in there for initially 20 minutes because we're not cooking this by time or weight we're doing it purely by temperature which is the trick with any game get a meat probe it's the way forward anyway we'll see this in a minute So I've got my lovely fezzy out the oven, as you can see there, I'm just probing it. That's at 69, just going to 70, you don't want it any more than that. Just check these legs. Get it in that thigh there. Just remember to have a cloth when you move this pan. Man, I've learnt the hard way. So, what we need to do with this is get our pheasants. It's full of juice, and we want to put it breast side down. But just look at all the fat that it rendered out of that. And you see what we started with. You know, that little bit of oil. But this is the trick now, breast side down. For 20 minutes, just leave it, don't be tempted to do anything with it. And if you add some foil, unlike me, you could cover it. Looks good though, doesn't it? So that's what's left in the pan then. Can you see all those bits in the bottom? With the seasoning? So you could decant some of that fat off and then use the lovely remnants of the roasting to make a sauce. But yeah, that's really give up some fat. That's pure free range pheasant fat while it's resting you can go outside have a brew and a cigarette i'm actually cooking this it's half six in the morning believe it or not beautiful morning mind ah. okay so that's been 20 minutes resting on its breast Look at all that lovely juice, which you can add to your pan. Look at that, for your gravy. Now the moment of truth. You get these legs off. Oh, look at that. I'm going to reach over the camera. Oh, hear that skin. Break it out of its socket. Take them breaths off. Feels lovely. Through the wing, it's nice and moist. Oh, beautiful. 
beautiful other side nice and steady just get through that wing it can be a bit of a ball ache we've got that lovely lovely breast meat there look now it is only seven in the morning but it would be rude not to the breakfast of champions just have a look at that look how tender that breast is and that fat and that layer of skin that's perfect Let's have a go Oh, wow. Mm. Come on, you bastard. That really is beautiful. Well, there you have it mm. then. One pheasant roasted, super, super easy. And the trick is get one of those meat thermometers, but absolutely outstanding. Even at this time in the morning, you can see how moist that is. Oh. Mm. And my favorite, the thighs. Now all you've got to do is go away and do it. Cheers.